class and welcome to morning math <laughs> i have eva here with me she's my pet cockatiel and we are going to be learning about percentages you ready eva yeah. so before we work on percentages let's understand what a percentage is a percentage is a number or a ratio that can be expressed through a fraction or a number with a percentage sign I can see if I can pull it up here. If not, it looks like a line with two circles. And so we use these numbers to talk about portions of things. So like, for example, a pie, say there's four slices and you take one, that's 25% of the pie. So we'll talk more about that after I get ready. Now that I'm ready for the day, let's go ahead and use Eva to demonstrate how percentages work and to convert from fractions to percentages and percentages to fractions. Here we have two toys that Eva loves playing with. What are the chances that Eva chooses the black ball or the orange ball? In this case, there are two items and one of each kind. So this would be a fraction of one over two and one over two. To decide the percentage of Eva choosing this toy, we must convert the fraction into a percentage. To do this, we must convert the denominator, which is 2, into 100, which will help us to find the percentage. So 100 divided by 2 would be 50. So multiply 2 by 50 and you'll get 100. So in this case, if you multiply 1 by 50, it will be 50 over 100. So in this case, our percentage would be 50% because 50 over 100 is, can be translated to 50%. In this case, Eva decided to choose the black ball. This time we have five toys with three orange and two black. To determine the percentage of Eva choosing either color, let's start with the black to determine its percentage. So we have two black out of five toys. So this would be two over five. To convert to percentage, we must change the denominator into 100. So divide 100 by five and you get 20. Multiply the fraction by 20, which would convert five to 100 and two to 40. And you'll find that percentage of Eva choosing a black toy would be 40%. Now moving on to the orange, we have three toys out of five that are orange. So this would be three out of five. Again, we must multiply by 20 since the denominator is still the same. So this would turn out to be 60 over 100, which means that Eva has a 60% chance of choosing an orange ball. All right, now that she's chosen her toys, let's figure out how to convert percentages to fractions. So now, oh, <laughs> now we need to figure out how to convert a percentage into a fraction. So say Eva played with 60% of her toys. How much would that be in fractions? Well, first you need to remember that a percentage is a fraction that is over 100. So it'd be 60 over 100. So now all we have to do is simplify. But how do you do that? Well, first you need to look at the greatest common denominator for both the numerator and the denominator. So in this case, 60 and 100 can both be divided by 20, which will equal 3 over 5. Now, how did I get this number off the top of my head? Well, if you can remember, our last practice we had a ratio of three out of five orange toys. Because of my knowledge of the previous practice, I remembered that three over five times 20 is equal to 60 over 100. Yeah, isn't that neat? <laughs> Let's try one more percentage and then we'll finish off this video. So here I have all my birds out today. And in the mornings, they like to eat some vegetables. So I put out some vegetables for them to eat. 
So let's say this morning they only eat 30% of their vegetables. So what would that be in fractions? Let's remember that 30% is 30 over 100. So let's go ahead and find the greatest common denominator for these two numbers in order to find the simplified version of this fraction. So for 30 over 100, the greatest common denominator for these two numbers would be 10. So divide 30 by 10 and 100 by 10, and you would get 3 over 10. So this would be our answer from converting 30% to 3 over 10. Yep. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for our video. I hope you liked our lesson, and I hope you come back again for another Morning Math with Miss Grace and Eva. Say bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>